Good day everyone! So our topic for today is the graph of the polynomial function and our first example here is to graph f of x is equal to x cubed plus 4x squared plus x minus 6. And in order for us to continue with this topic, you need to make sure that you have already reviewed my previous video, which is connected to the graph of the polynomial function, which is, I mean, which are the end behavior and a review as well on fa factoring polynomials and synthetic division. Let's proceed. So for in order for us to graph this given polynomial, we'll proceed with our step one. Step one is to find the factors of f of x is equal to x cubed plus 4x squared plus x minus 6. Now let's think of it this way first. Our given polynomial is in third degree, which means there are three factors as well. So if the given polynomial is in fourth degree, so there will be four factors. The number of factors of a, of a given polynomial depends on the degree of the polynomial. Third degree, three factors. So we will be finding three of these factors. So traditionally, what I do here is we will be using synthetic division because it is actually one of the easiest and quickest way to do so. Now, what are the numbers that, are we, that we are going to use in using synthetic division? So we'll look at the constant. This time we have 6. Okay? So what are the factors of 6? We have positive negative 1 positive negative 2, positive negative 3, and positive negative 6. These are the factors of the constant, which is 6. So these 8 values are the numbers that we are going to use as our divisor in our synthetic division. So we'll just have to pick one first and we'll see if it will be valid. Now let's try to use negative 3. Again, in order for you to proceed with this tutorial, you need to make sure that you have already watched on how to do synthetic division. Now, bring down all the numerical coefficient. 1, 4, 1, negative 6. Bring down the first term. 1 times negative 3, you have negative 3. 4 minus 3, 1. 1 times negative 3, you have negative 3. 1 minus 3, negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 3, you have positive 6. Negative 6 plus 6, 0. So which means negative 3 is our first factor because we have a 0 remainder. If the remainder is not 0, then it is not a factor. So our first factor is negative 3. What are the other two? Let's convert this to a polynomial form. This is in third degree. We divided by a first degree. So we will start with the second degree. So x squared 1. So plus x minus 2. This is already in second degree form, which means we can already use factoring by inspection. And if we look at them, what are the two factors? We have, so based on this given reduced form, what are the two factors that when you multiply will give us x squared plus x minus 2? Again, going back to factoring polynomials. So what we have here is x plus 2 and x minus 1. So there you have it. We already have our three factors. 1, 2, 3. We can now proceed to the next step. Now, this is our step 2. Find the x and y intercept. Based on the three factors that we got earlier, negative 3 here is already the root of the polynomial. x plus 2 and x minus 1 are the factors. So, since we already have negative 3, so this is our first x-intercept. Then we will convert it into a coordinate form so that we can use that to graph in, a poly in the Cartesian plane. So since this is the value of x, so we have negative 3, 0. Now, what about x plus 2? What we're going to do is equate it first to 0, 
So x plus 2 is equal to 0. Then, we will use the addition and subtraction property of, of equality to eliminate positive 2. So we will subtract 2 to both sides. x plus 2 minus 2 is equal to 0 minus 2. Cancel. x is equal to negative 2. So your second coordinate is negative 2, 0. Now, let's proceed to the last one. x minus 1 is equal to 0. Again, addition, subtraction, property of equality. To eliminate this negative 1, we will add 1 to both sides. So, x minus 1 plus 1 is equal to 0 plus 1. This will be cancelled. x is equal to positive 1. So, our third and last x coordinate and x intercept, I mean, is... 1, 0. So you'll have these three. Now, what is our y-intercept? Our y-intercept is the constant that we have earlier in the given polynomial. So if you remembered properly, this is our problem, our given polynomial. Our constant here is negative 6, which is the value of our y. So this time, for the y-intercept, our x is 0, our y is negative 6. Now that you already have all the required coordinates, let's proceed to graphing of the polynomials. Now, we are on the last part of this process, which is the graphing. So, we already have our three x-intercepts based from the factors. We already have our y-intercept and, of course, the given polynomial earlier, which we will, which we will be using later. Now, let's plot first all of our x-intercepts. Negative 3, 0. Negative 3, 0. Negative 2, 0. Positive 1, 0. And we will also plot our given y-intercept. 0, negative 6. Since, since it's negative, so we're going down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 0, negative 6 is right here. Now, based on the given polynomial, what is the direction of the two hands? This, is, this, this was discussed on my, other, on my previous video on the end behavior, so make sure you have watched that to fully understand what's happening here. So as a review, these are the conditions of the end behavior of both arms of the given polynomial. So our given polynomial is x cubed plus 4x squared plus x minus 6. Our degree of polynomial is odd because it's 3. And our leading coefficient is positive. So positive odd. Now based on what we have here, positive odd. So, it's, so which means our left hand is going down, our right hand is going up. This will serve as our guide. Left hand is going down, right hand is going up. And based on that guide, we can now graph the image of this polynomial. And this is our graph of the polynomial. And of course, we have to label that with f of x is equal to x cubed plus 4x squared plus x minus 6. And that is the graph of the polynomial. If you have any question, don't forget to leave them on the comment section below and I will be providing example number 2 for additional examples. So be sure to check that one as well. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.